So have a little ball nearby. We'll use it later. And we'll start with our regular warm -ups. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, shoulders back and down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, get the ribs towards your spine and up, arms at your sides. Take a moment and breathe, drawing in awareness, exhaling stress, and sinking evenly into your feet. And just keep that inner focus. And we'll do our warm-ups. Inhale, arms to the sides. Exhale to your heart. Inhale out to the front. Exhale behind you. Clasp your hands. Press them to the floor. Lift your heart. Stretch your head back. And exhale over. Bring your hands up and your head down. Move your neck around, chin around. Get the back of your neck releasing a little bit. Tuck in the chin, bring your hands toward your head more for your shoulders, and push your hands toward the ceiling. And then bend your knees slightly, chin toward your chest slightly, and work your way all the way up into our back bend. So chest high, shoulders down, head back. And just feel that opening through the upper body. And then inhale upright, Release your arms. Take a moment, feel your body. Exhale any tension. And we'll do it again. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and then clasp your fingers the opposite way behind you and push them again toward the floor. Lift your heart and stretch into the back bend and then pivot over. Deepen as much as you'd like, hands toward your head for that shoulder roll. And again, weight evenly on both feet as you work your way slowly up, feeling the spine just moving along about at a time into your back bend. Stretch it out, spread your toes, lengthen your spine. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment feeling your body, getting ready to do our side stretch. So one arm out, palm toward the ceiling, and arm right above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the side. So remember, don't lean forward or backward, just straight to the side so those ribs stretch apart. Sideways motion to your spine. Push the foot down, you're leaning away from through that extra rib opening. And don't forget to breathe. Inhale back up. And release. Feel that side a little bit more stretched, and we'll do the other. Arm out, palm toward the ceiling, hand above your shoulder. Push the hands away, lean to the side. And again, make sure that you're straight to the side, opening those ribs. Push the foot away, and out through the hand. Take a breath or two there. And then inhale up, and release. Take a moment, feeling the sides a little bit more open, and stretch your spine apart for our twist. Spread your toes, weight on both feet. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, grasp your right bones. Bring your arms by your ears and your sitting bones down, and stretch the spine apart, twist to one side. Take a breath, and exhale, breathe. And just deepen a moment as you're in that position. Let your full body relax. Feel the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then work your way up in the twist into the upper body only back bend. Remember, don't overwork your leg back when you're twisting. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. And then inhale upright, sail around to the center and switch your arms, even things out. Spread your toes, stretch your spine, and turn to the other side. A breath in, and exhale over. And again, deepen as much as you want in this twist position. Drag in your sitting bones. Inhale your way up into the upper body back bend. Relax your shoulders and pull your elbows back. Take a moment, just breathe. 
Inhale, left, right. Exhale, right to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, extended mountain. Turn your palms out, shoulder level, pivot forward. And again, stretch halfway down, everything straight, and then drop into red dog. Lift your sitting bones, pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you like it. And then arms back to the front, and knees slightly bent. Work your way one more time back into the mountain pose. Take a breath. Just relax. Spread your toes. Hit your ball. And put it under your toes. And then kind of crunch your toes around and work the ball around along the base of your toe. So a little balancing, a little ball stretch for the toes, and a little massage for the bottom of your foot. Go all the way back toward the arch and the heel and the toes. Wrench the toes around the ball just a little bit. See how that feels. And then release. And move the ball to the other foot. And again, just kind of wind your toes around it. If you don't have a ball, just wind them around anyway. <laughs> and see if you can move that foot around. Just a little off the floor with the ball under you. Rolling across Giving you a little massage on the ball of your foot area. And then the arch. And back to the heel. Oh, around your foot. Crunch your toes around the ball. And release. And put your ball to the side. We might use that again when we sit down. So take a moment back in mountain pose. Bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders down. Inhale, follow your hands toward the ceiling. You look at them, bringing the thumbs back, the upper body back down. Exhale, follow the hands down to the floor, pivoting at your hips into ragdoll. Hands up under your knees, stretch and straighten. And then exhale again into that and go. Straighten your knees, straighten your back, and bring your arms out at shoulder level and straighten them and pivot all the way up. Keep those arms at shoulder level, shoulders still down. Stretch it out, palms toward the ceiling, hands overhead, and out to your foot. And then take your hands and clasp them and press them away. Palms out, feel the bottoms of your palms pressing and stretching through the whole wrist area, up through the forearms. Bring the hands overhead, bend one elbow to the side, back straight up, shoulders down, bend the elbow, and straight up. Pull the hands out to the front. And release and switch the hands. And then again, push the hands away. Move them over the head. And then elbow. And back up. And to the side. Back up. And to the front. Keep those shoulders releasing down. And release the arms. Back in mountain pose, just take a moment, feeling your hands, arms, and shoulders a little bit more. And then take your hands behind you and clasp them. Press them down to the floor. Keep the heels and palms separated as you do that. Feel the heart expand. Feel the shoulders. Feel the arms. Straighten them out. Push it down. Keep the hips over the ankles. And lift the heart slightly. Stretch your neck. And breathe. And then come back slightly upright, and then press the heels of the palms together, and push again toward the floor, feel the slight difference. So again, arms straight, palms together, pushing down, chest opening, neck stretching, and breathing. Lengthen through your spine, don't crunch back there. 
and then inhale back straight up right. Switch your fingers one position over so you got the other class. Again, keep the heels of the palms separate, pushing down. Lift your heart, stretch it out, elbows straight, spine stretching. Make sure you don't lift your chin too much. Stretch through the back of the body and down with the hands. Feel the heart. Inhale back straight up and push the heels of the palms together. Again, same class, pressing down. Just feel the difference. And again, lengthen through your spine, stretching out through your head, but don't lift the chin. Stretch and breathe. Drop the shoulders. Push the hands toward the floor. And then inhale upright and release. Feel your arms, feel your hands, move them around. Move your fingers around. Touch the fingers to the, each finger to the thumb. And then back the other way. And then bring your thumb inside, fingers around it, just wrapping around. And bring your arms out to the front, little balls of your fingers, buds of your flowers. And we'll do our National Geographic Slow Motion Special. So remember, keep your shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist, your ribs in and up, your feet hip width apart. Weight on both feet evenly. Pushing out through those fists, tighten them like the bud of the flower before it blooms. And then as you exhale, just relax slightly through your hands. Feel what's going on through your arms as you're doing that. And then slowly, slowly, slowly release those petal buds of fingers. Just unfurl, just gently moving those fingers slowly, 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 straightening them out like the petals of the flowers. And of course, the flowers want to reach up to the sun, so push those fingers forward and up. Palms out, pushing out. Keep those shoulders down. Keep that belly in. Keep the crown reaching high. Sitting bones toward the floor. Push the palms out. Feel the hands. And shake it out. So more circulation all through those arms and hands. Shoulders. Just feel your upper body. Hands to your heart. And again, inhaling. We'll look at them toward the ceiling. And we'll swan dive forward. Pivot on over and your leg dog. Hands up under your shins and press into your halfway up stretch. Spread your toes, stretch your spine. Bend your knees and we're coming to the floor for our transition child pose. Sitting back, hips on your heels or toward your heels. Hands, palms up at your feet and forehead toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Relax your shoulders down. Exhale. Just releasing any tension. And then inhale, sitting up. Grab your ball and come into a seated position. So again, taking the ball, we're just going to put it by the toes and wrap the toes around and see if you can hold the ball with your toes. So if you've got a smaller ball, like a ping pong ball or a golf ball, it's probably easier to do that. If you've got a bigger, like, tennis ball, you might just want to put it down toward the floor as you do that so that you've got a little bit more base of support. And again, work the toes because we never work the toes. And again, with the ball, you can massage the bottom of your foot, blowing it out, moving it around, and breathing. And then releasing that ball, just release your feet to the other one. And again, see if you can grip the toes around the ball. There it goes. And as you do that again, just feel what's going on. If you got that bigger ball, turn it toward the floor. And again, massage the bottom of your foot. Just rolling it around, especially on the arch. We never do things with the arch. And the heel, everything. Just getting a little bit more lubrication and movement through all those toe and hip, toe and arch and hip joints. 
And then bringing the ball over to the side, looping up with that. And use your hand to massage your whole foot. So again, moving the arch, rotating the ankle, making sure that our feet are in good condition for supporting us all the time. Move those toes down and back, spread them apart, get your fingers between the toes, give it a little bit of opening, and feel that massage just making you feel more relaxed. And then bringing that foot down, switch the other one to being available, and we'll massage that other foot. So again, twisting the ankle both ways, flexing and pointing the foot, working on the bottom of the foot to get that whole base of the toe area, toes, move them back and forth, massaging the arch, the heel, the top of the foot, everything, making it feel so much better. And then again, spreading through the fingers, with, through the toes with the fingers, getting a little space through them, feeling your foot and massaging. And then releasing that, you can come into your cross leg position. Creatures of habit, go ahead, release the other foot to the front or top and come into your position. And we'll do the wrists one more time. So again, bringing the arm out to the front, pull the hand down. Use your other hand to really pull it, getting that stretch across the back of the wrist. Keep the shoulders down, keep the core active, supporting your spine. Shoulders toward your waist as always. And then pulling the fingers back, push the heel of the palm away, and just let that back of the palm, back of the wrist, back of the forearm, get a little bit of stretch. And then hands straight to the floor, spreading your fingers, spread them really, really wide, and push them each one at a time down. Back of the hand getting stretched, and pull them back as you're done. Palm stretch. Feel what's going on. Notice. Spreading your fingers, stretching it out. And again, spread the fingers even more. And shake it out. And move those fingers around. Feel what's going on. And bringing your hand down. Notice that whole arm has been working, the whole side of your body, feeling different from the other one. So yeah, balance the body, switch your legs around again, and bring the other arm down. Again, bringing your hand down, pull it back, feeling the back of your wrist. Stretch it out, relaxing those shoulders down, keeping that core supported, with your spine active and stretching up, breathing, noticing your body, what it's doing. And then pull the fingers back, heel of the palm pushing away, right there at shoulder level, pushing it out. Whole arm activating more through the whole back of the wrist. Take a moment, stretching it out through the palm. And then bring the hand flat toward the floor. Still at shoulder level, spread those fingers out and then pushing them down one at a time. Pulling them back when you're done. Just gently stretching the palm, stretching the fingers, not cracking the knuckles. We don't need to do that. Just stretching things out through the muscles. Spread the fingers when you're done. Just really spreading them apart even more. And then again, just circle the wrist, shake it out, whole arm releasing and relaxing. And then bring your fingers into the palm and out a couple of times, just feeling those knuckles moving. I know if you've got swollen knuckles or arthritis, it's challenging to get them bending. So go ahead, just bringing them in and out. And release. 
And then let's come up onto our knees. You need to pat under your knees. Remember, you can always fold your mat. And we're going to clasp our hands behind us like we did when we were standing. So just a clasp of your hands. Press the fingers towards your feet and feel the chest open as you bring those arms toward the hands toward the floor. Lengthen through your spine and out through the base of the skull, through the crown. And then as you exhale, bring your hands up and your head down toward the floor in front of you. Hands toward the ceiling, continuing toward your head. So your shoulders are working more. You need to come up off your heels to do that. That's fine. So breathe, just relaxing, shoulders moving a lot. So bring those shoulders even further toward your head, but the shoulder blades still toward your waist. Hands toward your head, toward the floor, just relaxing down into that position. Heels of the palms apart. And then inhale, face forward, bring your crown up, coming back to your kneeling position. And again, press the heels of the palms together this time, and we'll do the same thing. Hands toward the floor, heart opening, looking slightly up. Exhale, coming over. And again, just bring your forehead as far down toward the floor as it wants to go. Hips on the heels or up, whatever works for your knees and legs. Take a breath, bring those hands again a little further, maybe toward your head for those shoulder motions. And then again, face to the front, lifting the crown, coming back up to your kneeling position. And as you release the hands, switch the fingers one position. Same thing, heels of the palms separated, fingers toward the floor, heart lifting, stretch the spine, exhale, pivoting over. Again, forehead toward the floor as far as it wants to go. Hips on your heels or lifted. And shoulders moving with those hands going further toward your head if that works. Breathe into it. Maximize for your body, but remember, do what's right for you. Personal practice always. And inhale, face to the front, clan coming up. Keep that chin slightly in the stretch through the neck as you bring your hands down and push the heels and the palms together. And again, feel that heart open a little bit more. Exhale, pivot on over after pushing your hands to the floor. Breathe it up toward the ceiling, forehead toward the mat. Exhale, relaxing, letting those shoulders move maybe even further into that rotation. Palms, heels of the palms, everything together. And finally, inhale, face forward, crown coming up, and hands back toward your feet. Release your arms, feel those shoulders moving around, and bring your feet to the side and to the end of the mat, and you into step position. Sitting bones toward the back, and heels pressing out, toes up, or activate shoulders right above your hips and then roll your back to the heels. As you get all the way down, we'll do a real quick bent knee twist. So arms to T position. Sitting bones toward your heels, back pressing down, heels coming in, and feet out the floor. Just roll the knees toward one side, right at hip level, turn your head the opposite way. Keep those shoulders and shoulder blades down. Knees going as far to the side as your body wants for the low back twist. And neck only turning as much as you need for your head area. Take a breath, relax and into it. And of course, you need our relaxation. So bring those heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, do everything straight, and roll to the other side. Knees again at hip level, head turning toward the opposite bottom. Shoulders down, let the whole body go into its twist as you breathe and relax. Exhale, any tension. Deepening as much or as little as your body wants and needs to be. It's in the lower back, in the neck, and of course, the middle back. 
And once again, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, feet to the floor, sliding them out, coming into your relaxation, corpse position. Shoulders down, chest open, and toes meeting toward each other, and then just relaxing the foot. And move your toes around one more time, moving your whole foot, rotating those ankles, rotating the wrists, and everything releasing, and totally relax. Just let your body grow heavy as gravity deepens into that earth support, bringing it into that peace. Breathing deep, letting your body just completely relax. Shoulders sinking and softening. Oh, body weighted into the earth. Breathe deep and even further. Exhaling any stress or tension and any thoughts as well. Letting go of thoughts of your body, releasing your mind from the content of any other thoughts. Just let them go. Breathing deep. Letting those thoughts float away just like the breath without awareness. And any thoughts coming to you, just forget the past and the future. No need to focus on the content, let it go. And having your awareness to release your body and your mind. Focusing only inward on that peace within you. Follow your body, follow your breath. Even and into the trees. And of course, keep relaxing if you have the opportunity to go. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, being drawn energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body, if you breath. As you breathe more deeply and stretch more, just move those hands and wrists and toes and feet and ankles around once more. Again, stretching and breathing more fully as you're ready to do so. And of course, when you're ready for your I have your cup of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, back gently down, bring your heels toward your hips, and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, however feels good for you today. Stretching and breathing, appreciating your body's yoga work today, your hands and wrists and feet and ankles. And breathing, stretching fully, appreciating the work your body does for you for all the time. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll over to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day today. Thanks for joining me.